everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, for those of you that are playing at home, you might recognize a few, uh, couple of things in the main menu. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, uh, they do have a, it's like a 10 second slideshow. One of the things they have on there is the train. They take a beautiful shot. Oh, the car came off. Oh, well, we're going to have to put this somewhere. But they had a nice beautiful shot of the train going through sort of like a mountain valley pass. It looked really nice. And then they had another, had another picture where they had White Shade with his nice big toothy smile. He looked so happy in that picture too. And it was really nice. But uh, anyway, as you can see, I've been busy around here. I've been trying a few different things, trying to figure out the next step of where to where to go with this the builds right like I want to start getting into more complex stuff but there's there's some issues uh, let's actually deal with this for quickly here I actually want to try something here uh, I wanted to see if it's actually possible to fly in a stasis chamber because you can actually get inside right and so I want to see if it'll work and B see if you can actually fly and then have sort of like a little bat coffin hanging that so I can uh, deal with all these stasis chambers I got laying around I think I got two of them over there I have one over there and I got one right here and one right behind me and then I got one over at the base there and it's almost as bad as crafting tables in Minecraft I tell you but anyways let's uh, see what happens here let's get the tool out and I'll drop it down it floats uh, no, it doesn't work. Uh, that's a shame. I was hoping I'd be able to fly it around. Oh, we can always throw a cockpit on it. Why not? Uh, let's see, where is it here? Let's go to number nine. And see if we can drop it right on those switchboards or somewhere if we can. Hmm. No, we're going to have to go to the smaller one then. Extreme cool. temperature warning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there it was. And it's a little heavy. That's fine. Alright. Oh, I guess it would help if I actually adjust and set the controls. Give me a moment. Check it out. It's a skateboard. Oh, it fell off. I was walking around. I was actually sort of moving around. It's weird. And why are the lines red? If these are black, and I have the switchboard red, should these be white? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, surfing around. Anyway, let's go uh, take this stasis chamber for a fly. Yeah, and then when it, wherever I'm building, just keep it hovering. Oh, this thing does not fly well, and I can't see. Let's. Uh, Let's not do that, that or that. Oh, I'm having a bad day. Come on, get in there. All right, let's uh, see if we can back her up. I got the cockpit on sideways, so it doesn't doesn't help much. That's all I got. Sort of fly in third person. Let's get up and out of the trees. Uh, these are pink. I got to get rid of them. Uh, we got to expand. But. Well, I got a bit of a plan I want to do. I want to bring this over here. I got my steering backwards. That's why I actually only have steering on one air blade. Oh, what did I do wrong this time? Anyway, we'll just leave this here. But uh, I want to get another game going. Now, you know, I had this one. This is one of the ideas I had. And I got a, another one. Is this one okay? Yeah, it's fine. And I had another sort of like a sort of a turret game. I want to sort of redesign the gun idea a little bit with uh, a self-loading mechanism. Let's get build vision off. And uh, let's actually get to the linkages here. This is uh, it was sort of the next step of trying to get more to transformers, but I've been having issues with them where uh, they're a little too weak. You know, I've been getting gaps and so stuff drops out of place where it's not supposed to and at the same time I've been having connection issues where it doesn't want it because of the fact that I'm dealing with like 10 different centers of mass right now there's 
separate structures even this one little block here is completely separate than everything else so it doesn't connect to anything so I have to build around it because I'm using active blocks or protein plates in this case same would be with hinges uh, so things get a little complicated uh, they don't quite work out the way I, they, I intend to so basically that's the, a similar idea I was also trying a different sort of folding mechanism here and this was something where this was supposed to be rigid and fixed and was attached to this one here but at the same time too because there's so much play in these joints it doesn't want to stay where it wants and it just drops down under the weight which in real life something that big would be able to withstand many many tons you can actually see that it's shifted off where this one is perfectly aligned so yeah it's, it's a bit of a drawback you can actually see the blocks pulled out too but anyways uh, so we're going to go in a different direction I'm talking about uh, a, a little, another game using like a railgun idea but this time we're going to be using balls. I'm going to be using ideas from uh, this elevator, uh, this roller coaster here. The elevator is going to be basically the loader. It's, the balls are going to go up a little chute like this and they just drop right down to the top of the turret, which is over here. Now this is just uh, a prototype for a control mechanism. And I'm, basically I'm using the hover pads. Um, switch it on and as you can see it rotates I'm using the wheels as friction like I was with the turret on the tank and that way this whole game will be able to control be able to be be controlled outside of the cockpit so you can actually stand here and you can hit the buttons from different angles uh, there's gonna be power control on the gun and there's also gonna be a ball return similar to the one I used on the pinball table which was long 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 time ago but yeah, so that's what the plan for today is, and then I have an idea for drop targets. Uh, might be able to color color them different ways. I've tried using uh, having the slopes on the the other way around, but I wasn't able to push it over. What I can do is when I set them up, I'll try wheel switch them around that way when I go and turn it on. And what I'm doing is a hover pad. You just turn the hover pad on, and it resets the target, just like so. And voila! And then, in, if you hit it with a hit it with a ball, it'll knock it over. And I can actually push this one over. But if I have it flipped around, maybe the balls will be enough to hit it. But fixing those won't be a problem. And I can color them up too. I haven't really thought of a theme originally. It was going to be since we're using a railgun, I was going to have like a little mini tank set up and have it all done camo color. And then I don't know. We could either do like little mini tanks or something. I don't know, but I was going to do that over here, and I guess I should bring my supplies with me. Uh, I got an area cleared out next to the um, hopper dropper. If anybody wants to get, come up with a better name for that, you're more than welcome to suggest it. Uh, yes, there is a little bit of a, a little bit of a bug right now. Air blades spin when they're not powered. They also make noise when they're not powered, but they don't work when they're not powered, which is sad. So, no free power. Or free flight, I should say. But anyways, well, I'm using solar, I shouldn't be saying anything. But as you can see, I got an area set up over here. My uh, stasis chamber is floating up there. I'll try to move it wherever I need to. At least it's there, so I'm not... Oh, look, there's another one over there. Uh, so it's there, so when the night comes. Anyways, uh, let's uh, start building.
Okay, it's finally done. I've been working on this actually two days right now. Not two days total, but over the course of two days, it's turned out a little bit bigger than I was originally anticipating. And it didn't really turn out the way I expected. And no, the pins are not crooked. That is actually an illusion because I have everything on a slope and that's because that's basically the the gutter return and I'm actually not going to land there because that's our plane area so I'm going to give you a quick little tour of what I got going on here and then we'll fuel it up and see if it actually works and so we'll get down to this part in a minute here let's clip the pins quickly here so this is just what I was showing you before over at the, the testing pad and as once I get over there, just some drop down targets. Originally, uh, when I originally decided to, oh, I missed something here, clean up the garbage. Uh, when I first came up with the idea of doing something like this, I didn't really know what I was planning on doing, and I really had no idea where it was going to go. I thought it was going to be something tank related, and then somehow it ended up in the bowling. And, I was actually going to sort of decorate this whole thing like a pirate ship, but, you know, if this thing took me six, maybe eight hours to do this, and, yeah, there's a, a bit of wiring going on here, and we'll get to that in a moment. But, uh, these are all the drop targets. Uh, I do have to, still have to unlock these. Uh, just like over in the test area, they do have hover pads in the back for the reset and I do have a master reset switch set up up front and that's what one of the wires you saw underneath me was for so we do that so these are our drop targets our our pins uh, it was going to be 10 pins but I was kind of confined for space I was actually getting hover pads in the way so I went with went with five pins uh, don't ask it's a Canadian thing but anyways so yeah uh, but shoot the ball up here if it doesn't hit anything or when it does hit something it drops down it's going to start rolling this way if it starts getting some of this momentum as well at least it's going to start carrying down this I thought the ground below me was moving for some reason which doesn't surprise me with this game but yeah so at least it'll keep get some extra momentum carrying it down into the gutter which of course is the ball return from the pinball table and hopefully it's not going to be too aggressive I might have to switch every other pad off if it is and that takes us down over to the bottom which is going to be the ball return up into the ball loader uh, this is a design I haven't tried yet but realistically it should work so that comes down here and then goes into the staircase I've used a couple of times already which go up into here uh, I'm hoping that when this hover pad pushes the ball up that's going to be up high enough for this one to just push it over this crest here and just drop right into this pocket. Now for the, the wiring, now this is where it gets a little confusing. Of course this is all going to be constantly powered. That's going to be constantly powered. Uh, the yellow switchboard here, uh, yeah, now those are the controls. This yellow one here is the master reset and that's what that does. Is it turns those hover pads on up there to bring the pins back up. Uh, the pins, if, you hit, if I hit the front one, it should technically hit the two in the back and knock those over, which should technically hit the last and cause a strike, if I'm lucky. But yeah, anyway, so that goes down here. Uh, yeah, follow the yellow line all the way up to the top, goes underneath and then goes up. That's our master reset. We got uh, the brown wires up there going for the gutter. Uh, the ball the ball elevator I did black of course because they're black and then we get up to the gun now the gun I have set up in three stages uh, there's actually multiple controls on here uh, let's go with the, the steering first so we have th uh, this is the master we set over here uh, the red button in the middle of course is the firing button the two green ones are for turning so you turn this one on, it'll turn it this way, you turn this one on, it'll turn it that way. And that just connects to these switchboards here, which... Oh, that lag is so rough sometimes. 
which I have connected here, but I do have them crossed. So this one is actually over here, even though it's going this way. But you know what I mean. Then the firing. The firing is actually three stages. So we have. Uh, it's always going to be on this stage. So if you only want like a low power shot, you turn these two off and then you fire. Uh, if you want a high power shot, you turn that one on. And that one will actually connect to these four, as you can see by the color. And then the top one will connect to the other four. So if you have all three switchboards on, then it gives you a full power shot. Hopefully that backboard is going to be enough to stop it. And with that... Uh, yeah, steering, power control, firing button, reset button. Uh, all we need is fuel in the wall. Typical Saturday night, huh? Alright, uh, did grab some deuterium. I had 60 stacks over there. Okay, huh. is that enough? It is. Is that all I have? Uh oh. Something's not being powered. Those aren't getting powered yet because I haven't fired anything. Uh, the gutter's all lined up. Light lit up. And this is all lit up. Yes, I have switched more to grounded or hover mode already. Alright, let's do a systems check here. Gun fires. Let's see if all 12 barrels are firing. Yes, they are. Good. All right, now for the turret test. What's going on? Oh. Got to get got to get used to these new features, I tell you. I know what I forgot. Same thing I forget every single time. There we go. And then what I can do too is I can always adjust the tension on the suspension to control how fast the turret goes. I'm thinking about using that idea too for possibly a timer. There you go. It goes one way, turn it back on, turn it the other way. Now I can't, don't, unfortunately don't have it lifting up and down, that's why I use the slopes. But uh, the pitch, if you have a high enough shot, will actually go soaring over top of this so it is a little bit higher but that actually works really good I was using the tire dragging method with a turret because when I, was, when I was driving around the turret would move around and that actually stops pretty good so let's see if we get a shot lined up here let's try to get this uh, built so you can do this in third person if you really wanted to All right, go ahead and move it around third person perfect that shot lined up, and yeah, let's let's get a ball on. F let's get a ball on the field here. Uh, I want to do it up here, so I can watch it actually go into the gutter, and see if it actually gets loaded. Uh, let's see, the best place to do it is probably here because I got to catch it. All right, I'm on the right thing of my bobber. I'm gonna get a couple of ceiling tiles here. Something to build the ball on. And, uh, it's probably gonna roll on me, so just be careful about this. Well, I do actually have to roll it around. That's uh, not the right button. I've had a few crashes today, too. Crash. Almost guaranteed every time I drink water, I crash. So I've been, uh, getting by with a dry mouth for the most part. Okay, now what color should we make our bowling ball? Let's make a pink bowling ball just because. Even tech though, technically. Technically, five pin bowling balls are. almost have like a swirl pattern, from what I remember. I can't remember, I haven't done five pin bowling since I was. Ah, probably 30 years ago. I feel old. But never too old to enjoy a good video game, right? Nope, oh, that's the wrong color. Um, yeah, let's go with pink. Just because. So we can see it. Do that. 
stick another one of those there. And is that all complete? It should be. Come on, get off the wall. Get off the wall. That's why. Okay, get rid of that, and that, and that. And then I'm gonna hover. I said, I'm gonna hover and watch you drop. Yeah, let's, let's watch it. See, it's not gonna start rolling this way. Oh, it is. But it doesn't really carry over like I thought it would. But there is that ball return doing its thing. Alright, let's get over here. I wanna make sure it actually loads into the chamber. Where is it? Did I miss it? Where did you go? I'm not telling it fell out somehow, some way. Uh, hang on, let me find it. Okay, I found it. And I know what the problem is, why it got stuck, and that's because this hover pad should be turned off. Now, it's just a matter of nudging it back so that this hover pad will take over. I'm wondering if I could have just taken this railing out. I think that's what's going on. <gasps> oh! <laughs> yeah, of course, probably the only other pad that's upside down. That makes sense. Uh, let me fix that and get another ball blade. Okay, all fixed. I knocked over a couple of pins too. I actually flew into them and they just dropped over like that. So this that's actually a good sign. It also gives us a chance to test the pin resetter too. And you got stuck. Of course you did. Go. Wait for me. Ah, my balls uh, my balls got in the way of me. Should have done a brown could have done it some meatball. And Come on. Where are you? You're stuck. You are stuck on another upside down hover pad. What do you know? Oh, there's a few of them. Ooh, I should have checked this over. And no worries. Uh, this will be in three, two, one. Okay. Again, we shall try this. Come on. What are you waiting for? Get down there. Me at the bottom. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it or not. So everything is set up now. Up you go. And plonk. Perfect. Me likey. Alright. Uh... Alright, let's try uh, just a normal shot. Where's the turret? Why is the turret all the way over there? No, oh, wrong step, wrong way. Uh, do I have an issue already? Did I get jammed? Hmm. Should be working. Got fuel. Looks like it has power. Come 
much tension? Or is it actually just legitimately stuck on something? Come on, you were working like five seconds ago. I'm wondering if I just need to put those blocks here. Not those blocks, these blocks. Okay, it just needs a little bit more to push off of. Or maybe I just broke the game again. No, oh, come on, turn off, turn off. That's what it was. Okay, again, we're gonna go with full tension on the suspension, not the wheels. Turn you back off before this thing gets away on me. Yes, there is def there is some audio bugs right now. Okay, let's try this again before it gets dark. All right, so let's go this way. Okay, is that good? Oh, we got to do a reset. Hmm. That's cool. I like that. All right, let's uh, let's do a single shot or just a low power shot. See what happens. Apparently nothing. Hmm. Ah. I think those might have to do with it. Let's try this again. I might have to find a way to get to actually get pushed back. I think that's what's going on. Let's see if I can get my get my button here and move this thing back if I can. Probably gonna have to move these pads over a little bit if I can. Try to get uh, the ball to drop in a better place, so it sits more back. Because these should hit it unless this is obstructed, and that could be it. Is that proper line of sight? I don't think so. Ugh. My audio is like totally out of sync right now. It's actually the game. It's not me. Okay, let's try this again. I want to see if it actually launches. Again, should work. It's actually cool. Let's go a little full Monty on this one. And it is not going anywhere. It doesn't want to go anywhere, that's why. Hmm. So apparently I can go right through that. It wants to push, but that's about it. Um, hmm. I wonder if moving that one down and back would help. I have to get rid of that. Uh, let me try this. Alright, trying it again. I moved a couple of pads around. Let's see if we can get a little more push. And for, yeah, the turret's moving on its own, which is not a good thing. Let's see if we can get it back over in time. And let's see what happens drops in and now I'm hoping those are gonna push enough to get this up in the line of sight of those and push it if not I might have to redesign that oh. 
but go ahead. Alright. Anyways. Fire. I said fire. Come on. Yeah, it just doesn't want to go up. I don't know if it's because the ball's not around. Oh, yeah. It's. Hmm. Yeah, those ones. These aren't low enough. That's what's going on here. So that means none of them are going to be low enough. They're all going to be too high. All right, well, give me a moment, I guess. Okay, let's try this again. I think I found out why this mo thing was moving, too. It's because I'm walking on it, moving it around. Let's go a little more. Uh, let's see if this works. I'm going to say no, because I didn't see no pink ball come flying out of that thing. And what is going on here? Yeah, it's not quite catching here. I might... Try something here. One more little thing. And then we might have to come back to this one another time. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's gonna have to go here. And that's the wrong way. Saw that right away. Click the most button too soon though. So yeah, that might obstruct it. Hmm. But we can try. Uh, so let's see what happens when we connect power to it. And it's not doing anything. I don't know if these hover pads are going to be able to push it up, up this, this incline. Seems to be stuck. Well, we might have to redo this one, I think. Not the whole thing, like, stick with it. We might have to just redo the turret or the gun or whatever. I might have to. Definitely think about what else I can do with it. Uh, um, you know, redoing the whole thing isn't going to be an issue. One of the things I was thinking about doing was keeping the hover pads level like I did uh, somewhere that thing over there, way, way, way over there where I had the, well, th where I was trying to push the car with the hover pads. I had them on uh, diagonal grid like this. And I think the only reason why it was working is because it was on a level surface. But the fact that I'm trying to push this up a ramp might not work too well. It might be because of the blocks, but I've thought about doing this on a flat surface, lifting it up, and then locking the hinge or the rotor, or and then placing blocks underneath it to keep it in place and go with that and see how that works. But anyways, I'm going to call this episode here. I've been working on this forever, and it didn't quite work out didn't quite get finished but we're not done yet but anyways i thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed it give me a like and i'll see you in the next one later